did Judaism and Thanksgiving have in common? Let's unstuff it. Get it? <laughs> unstuff it? Like stuffing? No? Okay, fine. From Aish, this is Jew Know It. I'm Sarah, and today we're talking all things Thanksgiving. What's Jewish about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving may not be an fish holiday on the Jewish cow, but its ideas are as Jewish as ever. First, the very name Jew comes from the name Judah, which is related to the Hebrew word for giving thanks, Toda. So our very name as Jews means to give thanks. Second, the word Thanksgiving has two pretty big Jewish principles packed right into it like a turkey sandwich. Thanks is the response to receiving, a sign of gratitude, duh. <laughs> and giving is the opposite of taking. It's the idea of philanthropy, to be generous and open-handed. Jewish people thank and give because in the words of Winston Churchill, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And what's more Jewish than that? Speaking of, just want to take a second to say we'd be super thankful if you shared this episode with one of your friends. Thank you. <laughs> How to be thankful like a Jew. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to find yourself chasing after the next big thing, thinking it will finally bring you happiness. If I can just find that right partner, or if I can just find the right job, or just buy that fancy new car, you get it. But this attitude makes happiness impossible. Good thing Judaism offers a different perspective by teaching that wealth isn't measured by material things or pursuing more. Instead, it's about being content with what you have and not taking things for granted. The Talmud asks, who is considered rich? The answer, one who is happy with their lot. This means that if you're happy with what you have, you'll feel like a rich man. If you can't appreciate what you already have, then you'll never feel satisfied no matter how much you get. In Jewish tradition, this mindset is embedded into daily life. For example, when you wake up, you express gratitude for the gift of life itself. I mean, seriously, you're alive. And then throughout the day, you're encouraged to say blessings to remind you to appreciate the large and small things. So while you should be doing this all year round, what better time of year to give it some extra love than on Thanksgiving? Give thanks for the love and opportunities you have rather than the ones you don't. And don't forget the giving part too. By embracing both, you create a cycle of gratitude and generosity, making the world a brighter place for all. And what's more Jewish than that? I'm Sarah, and from Aish, this has been Jew Know It, a series where we tackle questions big and small about Judaism, even the ones you're too afraid to ask. Hit that like and subscribe button to follow along and drop a comment with what topics you want us to cover next. See you next time.